by 65 is 5. So we get sine 5 as 56 by 65. Let this angle as 5 perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So we get it as 65 square. Four double two five minus fifty six square. Fifteen minus six, eleven minus three, one minus one. So we get it as one zero eight nine. Square root of this is 33. So we get cos as base upon hypotenuse. So phi is cos inverse 33 by 65. So this is equals to cos inverse 33 upon 65. Note it down. Now next question. Prove that 4 tan inverse 1 by 5 minus tan inverse 1 by 70 plus tan inverse 1 upon 99 is equals to pi by 4. First we can write this 4 as 2 into 2 tan inverse. What is the formula for 2 tan inverse x? That is equals to tan inverse 2x 1 minus x square. This formula is my pass. So what we get? Tan inverse 2 by 5, 25 minus 1, 24. So we get it as 2 tan inverse 5 by 12. 2 tan inverse 5 by 12. Take negative common from here. Tan inverse x minus tan inverse y. That is equals to tan inverse x minus y upon 1 plus x into y. Clear? So this term we get it as 99 into 70. 99 into 70 plus 1, 99 into 70, 6930. So we get it as 2 tan inverse 5 by 12 minus tan inverse 29 upon 29 upon 6931. Again here apply for 2 tan inverse x that is equals to tan inverse 2x 1 minus x square. So tan inverse 2 into 5 10 by 12 and 144 minus 25. So we get it as tan inverse 120 upon 119. So instead of this we can write it as tan inverse 120 and 199. Cancel it. 29. So we get it as 239. Again, tan inverse x minus y, tan inverse x minus y, 1 plus x into y. So, get it as tan inverse 239 into 199, 239 minus 120, 
थर्टी नाइन इंटू ट्वेल्व टू गेट इट एज टू एट सिक्स एट माइनस वन डबल नाइन टू थर्टी नाइन इंटू वन नाइनटी नाइन माइनस माइनस प्लस हियर सो इट विल गेट कैंसिल सो टेन इन वर्स टू एट सिक्स एट Now we have one hundred and nineteen, not ninety-nine. So what we get? Ten inverse two thirty-nine into one hundred and nineteen. Two thirty-nine into twelve. Two eight six eight minus one hundred and nineteen. We get it as ten inverse two seven four nine two thirty nine into one hundred and nineteen plus one hundred and twenty. So what we get here? Two eight double four one plus one hundred and twenty. Two eight five six one. Two thirty nine. Here we have zero for one twenty. So two eight six eight zero. Minus one one nine, we get it as two eight five six one. So tan inverse one is the value of pi by four. Note it down. Now second part of this. Write down the statement of second part. Two tan inverse one by five. Two tan inverse one by five plus sec inverse five root two by seven plus two tan inverse one by eight is equals to pi by four. First, these are terms of tan inverse. Taking two common, apply tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Tan inverse x plus y. One minus x into one. So tan inverse eight into five forty eight plus five forty minus one. So we get it as two tan inverse thirteen upon thirty nine. That is one by three. Two tan inverse one by three. Apply the formula for two tan inverse x. Tan inverse two x one minus x square. So we get it as tan inverse two by three nine minus one eight by nine. So two by three nine by eight. So we get tan inverse three by four. Now we are left with this sec inverse five root two by seven. Let it equal to theta. Sec is base upon hypotenuse. Perpendicular is hypotenuse square minus base square. Sec theta is five root two by seven. So this is hypotenuse upon base. Base is seven. So hypotenuse square five square is twenty five into two. Fifty minus seven square. If we want the value of tan, that is p upon p, perpendicular upon base. So instead of this theta, we can write it as tan inverse one by seven. Clear?
clear now again apply the formula for tan inverse x plus tan inverse y tan inverse x plus y 1 minus x into y so tan inverse 7 into 4 7 into 3 plus 1 28 minus 3 so tan inverse 25 upon 25 that is tan inverse 1 and 1 is the value for tan pi by 4 note it down Next is, if A is greater than B, greater than C, greater than 0, prove that cot inverse AB plus 1 upon A minus B plus cot inverse BC plus 1 B minus C plus cot inverse CA plus 1 C minus A is equal to pi. We know that tan inverse 1 by x that is equals to cot inverse x and minus pi plus cot inverse x for x greater than 0 and for x less than 0. Similarly, cot inverse x is equals to tan inverse 1 by x for x greater than 0 and pi plus tan inverse 1 by x. For x less than 0, tan inverse 1 by x for x less than 0. Now, cot inverse this. A is greater than B. It means A minus B is greater than 0. This function is greater than 0. Then cot inverse x is equals to tan inverse 1 by x. Reverse the term. B minus C. B is greater than C. It means B minus C greater than 0. So, cot inverse x here is tan inverse B minus C. B C plus 1. Clear? Now, this function C minus A. A is greater than C but C is not greater than A. It means x is less than 0 here. So, we write it as pi plus tan inverse this clear now tan inverse a minus b upon 1 plus a b that is formula for tan inverse a minus tan inverse b similarly here tan inverse b minus tan inverse c plus pi plus tan inverse c minus tan inverse a tan inverse a will get cancelled c and b so we have left with pi that is equal to right hand side. Now the next question is prove that cos inverse x is equal to 2 sin inverse root 1 minus x by 2 to cos inverse 1 plus x by 2. Let cos inverse x is equal to theta, then cos theta is x. Cos is base upon hypotenuse. So this is 1 minus x square. Now we want sin here. So sin is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Clear? If x is equal to cos theta, we put here 1 minus cos theta by 2. And 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin square theta by 2. 2 will get cancelled here. So 2 sin inverse sin theta by 2. So we get it as 2 into theta by 2 that is theta. And theta is equal to cos inverse x. Now we want to prove this equals to cos inverse x. So take this term. Cos inverse 2 cos inverse x is cos theta.
थीटा वन प्लस कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू टू कॉस स्क्वेर थीटा बाय टू सो वट वी गेट टू कॉस इनवर्स कॉस थीटा बाय टू दट इज कॉस इनवर्स एंड कॉस वी गेट कैंसिल थीटा एंड थीटा इज कॉस इनवर्स एक्स देर फोर दीज थ्री टर्म्स आर इक्वल the next one if y is equals to cot inverse square root of cos of x minus tan inverse square root of cos of x proved at sin by is equals to tan square x by 2 Now, cot is cot inverse. Let it be theta. Tan inverse theta plus cot inverse theta is pi by two. So we can write it as pi by two minus tan inverse root cos x. So pi by two minus two times tan inverse root cos of x. Now let this function is equals to theta. So what we get? Tan theta is root cos of x. Tan is perpendicular upon base. Hypotenuse is perpendicular square plus base square. So pi by two minus two. Here we want the value of tan inverse is this. Or we can use the value of two tan inverse x here. That is tan inverse two x one minus x square. So pi by two minus tan inverse. Now we have to find this value. Let it equal to theta. Note it down. 